Hey, Austria, should we play a show? Yeah. Well, we're not, though. Hold on. Let's talk about your new record. Okay. It's all will I believe behind. Um, congr congratulations! It's really good. It's actually my favorite record of the year. Um, the album achieved a lot of critical acclaim. Some critics even cited it um, your best record since Chain Do. Do you agree? What are your thoughts on this? I think every record that we do is better than the one before it, and I think it's always been that way since we started as a band. It's always been about you know, uh, that kind of forward movement and, you know, uh, progressing as a, as a unit. Um, and I think we've been on that sort of trajectory for a long time and we will continue on that trajectory. We've never wavered from it. We've never, um, um, we've never released anything that we didn't believe in or, or, or care about fully. And, uh, that's, that's just the way we look at music to, together. So it's, it's nice to, to hear praise of what we do and hear um, people uh, and hear people um, connect with what what we're doing but you know the, the only intention for us is just to write music that is challenging to us that excites us and that we're we're psyched about and and that's it so uh, when you wrote the new record um, what was your approach like as you said you wanted to challenge yourself like looking at the last record, X of All, what, what did you want to do differently? What was the challenge? Uh, you don't really do anything differently. The, the challenge is just keeping it sort of, uh, keeping it exciting, you know, pushing aggressive music in, in different directions, um, you know, making a better song, crafting a better song, communicating your artistic ideas uh, more coherently than, than previous records, just sort of sharpening what you do. You know, it's not about... Uh, approaching it from a wholly different place or anything like that it's about um, just improving let's talk about the title a little bit mm -hmm. um, actually uh, I thought about um, what it could mean to me and I came up with two different things the first thing is like you have to leave behind what you love which might be your family your friends so yeah you, ha you would have to leave that behind to be able to tour here in Europe or what I actually for myself chose to be the, the interpretation um, that you leave behind your your legacy as a band for future generations. All we love we leave behind. Thank you so much everyone. What is the real meaning behind the title, or am I completely off base here? Well, the, the title is a name of a song that's on the record, and some of the sort of uh, ideas that are explored within that song specifically also appear in other other places subtly throughout the record, um, indirectly. It just sort of happened that way, and uh, it's just about um, be, being self-aware, you know, dealing with. Um, moving in one's in one specific direction in your life and choosing to leave other things behind um, you choose to leave things behind that you care about that you that you love and cherish and you appreciate in your life and uh, you also leave behind negative things as well that you don't want part of your life um, I was uh, compelled to write the lyrics to that song at a at a pretty heavy time in my life when I was realizing that there was a lot of time that I wish I spent with you know with something in my life that passed away and I didn't get that chance and you know it's 
it kind of put me in a, in a headspace to think about those things and process them in a, in a larger sort of general way regarding my life and, uh, you know, just the things around me. Um, how people interpret that, you know, that's the sort of beauty of song and records, you know, like once, once we all release music and, you know, um, let it leave our little, our little nest, you know, and people get to hear it and interpret it for the first time, you get to assign your own sort of, um, sort of intimate relationship to it. Like you, for example, um, interpret it in one way, somebody else might interpret it in another way. And that's kind of the, the beauty of records and bands and songs, at least for me. Um, you know, we all get something different out of it. So you already like talked about it a little bit. Um, you guys are very driven, very busy. You're always like striving to progress. You said you were at a, at a difficult, difficult time in your life. Did you did you feel burnt out because of all the working? Because you you cannot really have a work life balance. No, I don't. I don't feel burnt out because I, I enjoy what I do. I think that people tend to get um, burned out when the when the the motivation isn't necessarily there and they're sort of going through the motions. You know, um, I feel excited to to play and share music and create art and uh, you know just uh, have that have that in my life so it might be draining it might wear you down some days um you may want to bang your head against the wall some days but you know that's 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 okay it's a it's a labor of love it's something that i you know i i, I wouldn't wouldn't give up for anything so it's just your passion that makes you stand up again when you fall um, your passion well, for I art it, for i don't music. put it that that poetically because i'm not really falling unless i fall asleep you know, okay. um, but, um, but yeah, you know, I just, I, I enjoy the creative process, you know, I, it brings me personal fulfillment. Um, and I think that anyone who's a musician or is an artist in some way and just does something creative, even, a, you know, a writer, a filmmaker, whatever, um, it's that, it's their connection to what they do is, you know, what keeps them going, even though it can be a cause of frustration at times. So actually I was going to ask you, um, what your biggest sacrifice was when, to be able to tour with Converge. But now uh, I think I'll change the question to, do you even feel like you have to make a sacrifice to be able to tour with Converge? Or do you uh, just regard it as your normal day-to-day -day life? It's sort of normal day-to-day -day life. I think that there's things that, there's normalcies and there's um, there's things that that by being in a band and by growing within a band and aging within a band, you sort of hold on to youth longer in a way you hold on to this sort of um this idea that it's you know it's just our destiny you know we just kind of do our thing and this is our our chosen path in life you know we don't really waver from those things in, in a way it's a very selfish and unapologetic thing um but that's what we need as as people that's why we do it you know it's uh, there's something within all of us that needs to be able to play and write music and and play music for people um but by doing that all the time um we also uh, we also postpone other other things in our lives you know other things that are normal that are happening you know with with friends and and, and loved ones and things like that and and family you know and we don't really have we have normalcy sure but you know we we tend to delay things and we tend to sort of do things on our own sort of schedule that's just uh, altogether different, you know? Like, for example, like, we're, we're all in our, our 30s at this point. You know, many of our friends have, have had kids for a long time and, and things like that and started families and started more, like, career-oriented jobs and whatnot that had nothing to do with the creative aspect of their being, you know? And we're still doing what we're doing because we have fulfillment in it. Um, I don't think that... Either way is, is right or wrong. It's just it's just different ways of living. So are you going to be at home at Christmas? Because you said you you do have families and relationships. What are your plans for Christmas? Because it's right around the corner. We get home basically at at the holiday season. We'll just probably go to sleep. You know, we've been on the road for a few months. Okay, so you'll get you a holiday rest. Um, I wouldn't define it as holiday rest. You know, I'm sure we'll be running around and doing a, a ton of things, but we'll be thrown back into regular life for a while. 